The tech world's best and brightest pouring into South by Southwest. 33,000 entrepreneurs and investors are expected for the week and a half long event. Fox Business's Joe Lynn Kent is here now with an exclusive interview with one of YouTube's biggest stars. Joe, take it away. Hey, Melissa, that's right. I'm joined here in an exclusive interview by Michelle Fan. You're a Hi. YouTube star, a billion views, seven and a half million <laughs> followers on YouTube. You're here at South by Southwest as I your am. business is booming. You're expanding. What is it like to have come from so such modest such a modest place and be here and to be conducting such intense business on so many platforms? Well, I'm very honored and grateful to have such an amazing platform where I can just share my thoughts and my vision and I and also showing girls that you know, you can build your own career online. I mean, if I did it, if I did it with a webcam, you can do it, and you can do it better. So uh, it's it's an honor to be here at South by Southwest. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your business expansion because you have a L'Oreal deal where you have yes. a line of cosmetics, you have a music label, yes. you have a book, you have so much. <laughs> where is what's your priority right now in terms of doing good business and making money? Well, my priority right now is scaling and expanding my business. So um, I have a I have a company called Ipsy. It's a uh, it was started three years ago in San Mateo, and we're expanding. So we have um, an office in LA, a studio in LA, an office in New York, and so just expanding and finding new talents and really mentoring them and nurturing them, and so that they can become the next biggest beauty star. Um, I'm also partnering with Endemol, and we're launching an amazing premium network uh, soon. And again, finding amazing talent within the lifestyle uh, division and really just building their brand. And it's not going to be like an MCN. I don't believe in aggregating hundreds and thousands of channels. I'd much rather focus on uh, a small, selected, talented individuals and really just putting a lot of power behind them. And of course, launching internationally because you know Endemol is an international production company. Um, uh, I'm also developing two apps you this year. You are. You have a yeah. lot. I, I'm crazy. I just, I'm like a mad scientist. I just love doing a million things. But tell me, what is it like to actually be a YouTube star versus a normal com coming of age? You know, what do you, how do you interact with your viewers? Oh, well, I have a very close relationship with my viewers. You know, I have this two-way dialogue with them where if I'm on Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, or YouTube, or now Snapchat. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to them. I'm replying back to their messages. I don't have a team doing it for me. I do it myself because there's nothing more important than having this connection with your audience because money can't buy that. You know, money can't buy this authenticity. And so I have to maintain this by having a, a consistent communication with my uh, amazing community. Well, you're a really amazing businesswoman, <laughs> but who do you look up to in the entertainment, media, YouTube world? Um, in just in general, I really look up to Elon Musk. He's someone that I aspire to be because he he really saw potential in the dot-com business with PayPal and he sold it. And instead of just buying a yacht and retiring, he invested that money in Tesla and SpaceX. And I love that he's really forward-thinking, you know, what he's doing with Hyperloop and, um, and how he's really changing um, the space in not just at tech but also in clean energy with Tesla and, and uh, so, uh, solar, sorry, can't speak right now, blah, 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 with a solar panel. So I'm really excited to see what he's doing with his career. And he's definitely someone I look up to. Jack Ma is someone else that I really admire. And Alibaba. Because, yeah, because he, when no one believed in that space, he did it. You know, when no one believed in him, he was able to build this business. And now he's giving back to the small mom and pop shops and independent business owners in America and really helping invigorate the economy. And so he's someone I really look up to, too, because he's, yeah, he's worth billions, but he's giving back. Cool. Well, there's so much to talk about here. <laughs> Michelle Fan, thank you so much uh, for course. joining us in this exclusive for interview. Me. It's great to have you. Melissa, we'll send it back to you in studio.